Snow Fall will lean on history in Season 5 to buttress the plot and character arcs that turn the FX series about the plight of a crack kingpin and his family in South Central L. It into one of the most compelling drama series on TV. As Season 4 bode, Damson Idris Franklin Sane was raring to take back his place as one of the most powerful drug lords in the world. Now three years later, he and his crew face a challenge largely out of their control but are still in the game, as showrunner Dave Andron puts it. It's a game Andron says is complicated with the historical backdrop of 1986, a critical year in the trajectory of federal drug sentencing laws that led to decades of mass incarceration for black communities, and a year remembered for the death of a rising sports superstar. Len Bias was two days removed from being drafted as the second overall pick by the NBA's Boston Celtics when he died of cardiac arrhythmia induced by a cocaine overdose. Bias was 22. Lynn Bias' death started this kind of fires tour, and Rand said in a recent Television Critics Association panel, discussing how season 5's premiere, which airs Wednesday night, spotlights the former University of Maryland star's death. It became the reason why all of a sudden everybody was up in arms. Even though his death was not rock related, Ultimately it led to Congress passing this really draconian sentencing law. All of a sudden, cookie, was on the radar of people it hadn't been before, and yet the government completely bungled the response. You might even go so far as to say, officials, use this as an excuse to lock up a generation of black people. Following Bias' death, lawmakers passed the Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986, which was known colloquially as the Len Bias Law and created a mandatory minimum sentencing for cocaine distribute. The law was heavily criticized because, while it attempted to strengthen federal efforts against controlled substances, it deepened the racial inequities in federal drug sentencing by establishing a sentencing disparity between the distribution of powder and crack cocaine of 100 to 1. We are defending. Where all of a sudden if you have some cookie, you get one year, if you have some crack, you do eight, executive producer Walter Mosley said.